Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another nail DIY video for you guys. You know I love doing these kinds of videos because I simply just like doing my own nails. Um, I'm showing you guys all of the products that I'll be using today. My nails look hella busted. Okay, they look crazy. But we're going to get them all the way put together, you know? We're just going to fix the whole situation up so that they look hella cute. You guys saw the end result in the beginning of this video, so you already know what's about to go down. So if you guys are excited, make sure you keep watching. Okay, so I cleaned up my nails. I wanted to cut down some time on this video, so I didn't want to show you literally every single step. So I buffed my nails, cut them down, you know, manicured them, glued on my tips, and now I'm just going in and I'm cutting the tips down because I don't want them to be a pointy shape. I wanted them to be like a long coffin. I made sure to make these nails extra long because I wanted to do an extra long set. Well, this is the longest I could have kept them. I just literally cut the number off of the end of the tip. Going in with the pH bond from the Jellish kit that I use in every single video. I want to start like a hashtag, like get Jasmine on Jellish PR because I need to at this point. Like I put them on to so many people, but we're not gonna talk about that. So, went in with the pH bond, and now I'm going in with the primer. This is, um, I purchased this at Sally's Beauty, so I will have it linked down below. Everything that I use will be linked in the description box down below. They are affiliate links, so just be aware of that, but if you don't wanna shop under my affiliate link, you don't have to. Then I'm going in after the primer. I'm going in with the Gelish foundation. This is a part of the kit. This you do have to cure for 60 seconds under your UV LED lamp. So I'm just doing a single layer of that across all of my nails. And I'm gonna stick my hand in the UV lamp, like so, like that. And then I'm going in with my McCart poly gel. This is in natural pink. This is the first time that I was trying this method of applying the poly gel directly to the nail from the bottle just by squeezing it out. I wanted to see if I'd be able to squeeze out the perfect amount of poly gel without having to go in with multiple beads to fill my nail up. Um, I wanted the process to be quicker and because the nails were so long, I didn't want to spend too, like, too much time and it actually ended up working out really well. Um, so this is definitely a method that I'm probably going to be using in future videos, just like squeezing the poly gel directly onto the nail. Um, you just have to know how much, like you have to eyeball it, how much poly gel you need, but that was the pinky that I was able to do and it came out really good. I didn't squeeze enough poly gel, so I did have to go in for a second time and apply some poly gel because I wanted the nail to be thicker. I didn't want it to be too thin because they are really long. Um, so I'm just trying to build up my apex for the pinky nail. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what happens when you squeeze out too much poly gel on the next finger because I kind of messed that up. But the pinky came out really good for my first try. This is literally my first time doing anything like that. And I was really pleased with the outcome. Okay, so for the ring finger, I had some excess poly gel from the pinky on it already that I actually had cured. And I squeezed out way too much poly gel, okay? Don't be like me, you can see. And then I was like, you know what? YOLO, let's just do the rest of the nails too while you're at it. So I squeezed out for the middle finger and the index finger and I left my thumb to do last because I didn't wanna do all the fingers <laughs> at once. But as you guys will be able to watch and see for yourself, I squeezed out way too much poly gel for my ring finger. It was like way too much. Basically, I had to remove it, but I didn't want to take it all off. I wanted to leave what I needed. And the great thing about poly gel is that it doesn't harden, so you can remove it from the fingernail and you can actually add it back if you need more, or you can apply it to another nail, which is what I ended up doing. I just took off what I didn't need, all of the excess, and I went back and I added it on later on after I cured the, the first layer of the nail. But the goal was to squeeze out enough poly gel to where I wouldn't have to do layers and I could just do it, you know, in one shot. 
So this was the ring finger, um, essentially the first layer, because I do go back in with more. But for the, the middle finger and my index finger, I did the perfect amount of poly gel. I was so happy. So just watch this, because this is where like it just came together, you know? Like I literally just had to pat and, you know, swipe and swirl my little brush and the nail was pretty much already there. So I was really happy I was able to do this nail in like under five minutes, which is great. Yeah, so this nail came out really good. I'm just, you know, making sure that it looks perfect, but look at the middle finger compared to the ring finger. <laughs> it just looks really smooth. There's no lumps and bumps. <laughs> And I'm just going in and I'm gonna do the same thing to the index finger. Um, also, the great thing about poly gel is that like, as it sits on your nail, it starts to level out on its own because the viscosity of the product is like, I feel like McCart poly gel is specifically a bit more runny, but I'm not, like I don't dislike that. I kind of like that it's a bit runnier, so. Um, it kind of reminds me of like being closer to like builder gel because it's a little bit more sticky and a little bit more runnier but I'm just going back in with that excess poly gel that I had took off of the ring finger that I spoke about earlier and I'm just adding it back to the nail but they look so good like and make sure you cure each finger because if you leave it and you cure all at once then they'll start to move around and then it won't hold the same shape that you had formed. But I'm just speeding through showing you guys the thumb, the process with the thumb. I was able to squeeze out the perfect amount for the thumb. I was very, very pleased. Um, this method of squeezing the poly gel directly onto the nail cut down so much time with me not having to worry about like beads and putting on product like in steps i was able to just do it all in one shot and i really like that this is what my nails look like before i started to shape them i was very very pleased you can see i'm doing a little dance on my nails but they look so cute and then i'm going in with my nail file this one's from kiss i purchased it at sally's beauty and i feel like i always get so many questions and requests to do like more detailed video on how I shape my nails because I feel like filing and shaping is the most important part to like getting the, a specific kind of nail look that you're going for. I like my nails to be very like straight and sharp, clean edges. I don't really like rounded edges, so I'm going in, okay? That's my index finger. You wanna lay the nail file, like literally lay it on the side, like, at a 90 degree angle to your nail. Look at how, ooh, that index finger looks so good. I really, yes, okay. So I feel like it's easier to just watch, but you see how I'm literally laying the nail file on top of, on the side of the nail, and then I'm going underneath, and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and then to the top so that it's really sharp, it's really square, very straight because I like a very straight coffin. This is what the nails look like after I was finished filing all of them. I'm just going back and making sure. I spent probably, I spent more time filing my nails than actually using the poly gel to shape them. Like I legit spent like an hour filing my nails simply because I'm a perfectionist and I just need to make sure that the shape of my nails looks good. Then I'm going in with this little buffer sponge. This is a great like finishing touch to make your nails look really smooth and clean. Do that on your nails. And then you're going in with your color of choice. Today I'm doing a white V-tip. I'm using this skinny brush. I use this in my short French tip tutorial. This is from like another nail polish and I literally just threw away the nail polish and kept the brush because I needed the skinny brush. Dipping it in my white gel polish and I'm just drawing on my V. This was very hard for me because I wanted all of the V's to be very symmetrical and like the same like size and shape and stuff and that's very hard to do, especially on yourself. I think it would be easier if I were doing it on someone else's hand to look at it, but I kept having to flip my hand around so that I can see 
what the V was looking like. Um, and I'm going based off of the photo. I had it laying right next to me so that I could make it resemble the picture as much as possible. But I wanted a very deep, dramatic V because the nails were really long. And you know, you're gonna obviously want to cure your nails after you're done doing your white V tip for 60 seconds under your UV LED lamp. But it looks so good so far. Like I really love the way that this turned out. And then I'm gonna go in with my top coat from the Gelish kit. And I just do one single layer of top coat to each nail and I cure for 60 seconds. And this is just when the nails really started to come together. It looks so good. They're so long. This is the longest set I've ever done on my channel, like to myself. Put it under that UV lamp. Ooh, this is a new UV lamp that I just bought off of Amazon and I really, really like it because it's not enclosed. I feel like that's a really good thing. And then I'm gonna go in with the Nourish Cuticle Gel, cuticle oil, I'm sorry, <laughs> and apply that to my cuticles, and we're all done. Look at my nails, they look so good, wow. I did that, things I did, that honey, okay? These look so good, if you guys like these nails and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up down below go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the fam i will have new uploads two times a week so make sure you're looking forward to that your post notifications are turned on i love you guys so much don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you at my next upload bye